I had a request to actually show um, the status lights on the motherboard for the Unix PC um, on boot up as well as shutdown. Maybe it just boot up, but I'm adding shutdown. Now, the status lights are actually on the motherboard. And you'll see why I'm at this funky angle here, why the camera's at such a funky angle in a minute. So the, um, the lights are right here. There's four of them, a red, a green, a yellow, and a red. And this is from left to right, red, green, yellow, red. And the way it fits in the computer, this is another motherboard, which should be very, very similar to what's really in this uh, actual Unix PC behind here. Uh, the way it fits in is just like this. So this is what you'll be seeing. So you'll be seeing red, green, yellow, red right there. But I had to orient the camera such so that the LEDs would actually show through properly not only the holes in the side of the chassis like this and you can you, so there's a certain alignment just to get that right but also uh, the holes in the plastic cover for vents so I had to get the alignment just right but at the same time I also wanted to be able to see what was on the screen and so in order to get close enough to see the lights clearly and yet close enough to see the screen clearly I had to use kind of a diagonal kind of a diagonal uh, <laughs> alignment of the camera so please uh, forgive the fact that the uh, Unix PC and the entire room seems like it's tilted about 45 degrees because well it's the camera not the room but you get the idea but now at least you'll be able to see what these lights do right down here uh, from power up uh, all the way to log on so we're gonna have um, we're just gonna start with this so let's start with power up right now and here we go and there are our lights right there right down here in the corner so we have four there's the four right there red okay now watch see the marching boxes while we get the marching boxes, all four of them are lit up. So as soon as it finds a, um, a bootloader right there on the hard drive, now the status changes, and we see the status go through that entirely. 
But during the time it's getting the marching boxes, we see all four lights lit up like that. All right, so now we're going to watch the boot sequence. And you can hear what sounds like a real hard drive because, well, it is a real hard drive. This is not uh, one of the emulated hard drives that I'm using here. Uh, this is actually a real physical um, mini scribe, the good old loud ones. Listen to that. Clunkety, clunkety, clunk. Now, you should be able to see, while we're watching this, you should be able to see the status lights and a little bit about what they do uh, in the Unix PC technical reference manual, which I'm going to link um, in this video. I may even show a screenshot if I feel very um, determined. We'll see. Love the sound of that hard drive. And there we are. We are at a login screen. So, I'll just adjust the camera ever so slightly here. There we go. And let's try a login. Login is root. And I believe that there is no password. Just enter. Some hackers from DevCon last year um, left me a message as they programmed it in here as I left it there for them to hack. And it's still there. And now let's go through the shutdown sequence. Oh, what the heck. We'll do what you know you want to. You knew you wanted me to do that. And now we'll do a shutdown. There we go. Yes, enter to continue. And there it is. It's ready for power off. And so now we will just power off. And thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Those LEDs are found here uh, in the diagnostic section, which starts on PDF page 144 of the Unix PC reference manual. Now, where do you find the Unix PC reference manual? Well, I happen to know the answer to that question. If you just go to uh, Unix PC 
dot org and click on the reference the technical reference manual right here that'll bring you right to it and you're going to want to go to um, page equals 144 to bring you right to where I am exactly there now um, it references it references the LEDs starting here before it shows the table of these things so initializing the system channels A and B of the 7201 series port controller sets LEDs to one now I don't know what that means resets the error registers does all this stuff initialize the keyboard initialize the modem some of these things actually talk about setting the LEDs to a number and the others do not um, but if like here it just says sets LEDs to two testing video RAM okay now um, if you keep going sets LEDs to three testing map RAM memory and then testing RAM sets LEDs to four LEDs to five and LEDs to six now it doesn't really say what that is but if you go here you see that there's four LEDs just like I show in my video red green yellow and red from left to right uh, evidently the least significant bit is on the right side so the left one would be the most significant bit um, it shows the LED locations and uh, off on patterns for each test so here you go on page 148 is the magic and this is the LED status so evidently these are test numbers and the LED various patterns show what that is now when we saw the marching boxes, I noticed that uh, the LEDs were all on. All four of them were on, and I don't see any pattern here where all four of them are on. Listed below is the status of a logic board for each LED test number. Test one. Okay. So, I don't know if this helps. I don't think it says any more about LEDs, but hopefully this section of the manual combined with my video can help uh, diagnose what may be wrong with your Unix PC. And hopefully that helps, and thanks for watching.